Well, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Now, especially for this, I would like to, to show you something that has nothing to do with magic at all. Uh, you don't expect that from a magician, but this is a thing I like. And uh, I would like to show you, this has nothing to do with magic, this is an original Chinese puzzle. It's very interesting, it's made of two wooden sticks, and they're exactly alike, especially this one. <laughs> Looks like the other one. And there are little holes drilled through the sticks, right here. There's a little hole drilled through here, and through here. So each stick is a little hole down there. Now, through these, through these little holes are pieces of string. So I've got two pieces of string, a long and a short one, as you can see. Um, there's the long one. You can see that by the length. <laughs> and these pieces of string goes right through the sticks and are attached to a little bead. And they're up here. Right here, this one is attached here, and the other one is attached there. Now, now this is, and on, just on the other side, just a little tassel in the same color as the sticks, only in yellow. A little, a little, looks beautiful. Maybe you can't see it on the screen, but it's red and yellow. Beautiful combination. Um, you, you wonder how these Chinese get this combination of colors. You know, they, they think a little. They, why do they use yellow? Because yellow is the color of love in China. They call that the color of love. And they combine that with red because that's the color of happiness. Beautiful thought. Of course, it doesn't mean that every single Chinese is in love. <laughs> Wherever you're at, Chinese is happy. <laughs> yes. Now, but the idea of this little thing is this piece of string goes right through these sticks and attached to this little bead. Now, the funny part is when you pull the other tassel, that one goes up. Well, that's it. <laughs> that's for you to find out how this works. Because that's not easy, I tell you. Because it's attached here, you see. <laughs> no, I told you that. I told you beforehand. I said, this piece of string goes right through the sticks attached here. And the funny part is, when you pull that one, that one goes up. And when you see this for the first time, well, you say, well, that's, that's very easy. Just two little beads have nothing to do with the trick. The, 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 the string goes right through there. That's what I thought the first time, too. But later you find out it's really attached here. So now you start thinking, you know, wait a minute now. This is attached here. This is attached there. It's attached there. So it has to go through there and back. Uh, no, it has to go through there, and uh, you try to figure out what is the connection between these two sticks. But you don't have to, because there's no connection at all. Huh? Isn't that a beautiful thing? And when you pull that one, that one goes up. And that's attached here, it goes right through this stick, and when you pull this tassel, that one... And they're beautiful. It's real Chinese. Yes, it's true. It's on here. Made in Japan. Here it is. <laughs> oh. but, but, but do you have any idea how this works? Huh? You have to think a little. Huh? <laughs> through the sticks. Well, uh, I showed you that. It's right through the sticks. I know what you mean. You, you mean like this. But there's nothing there either. <laughs> huh? No, no, look. It's just a piece of string that goes right through a piece of wood. And it's attached here, right through here. When you pull that one, that one goes up. <laughs> it's ridiculous. And it's, uh, this is so easy. This is so easy when you know it. And I know it. <laughs> But, uh, well, I, I can tell you because it has nothing to do with magic. It's not a secret, really. And you'll never think of it. You'll never think of it. Look, you only need a third stick. And that's all. Of course, you never show this one. But when oh, you pull that one, that one, that one. <laughs>